गुड डे टू ऑल ऑफ यू कंप्यूटर शिक्षा इज सपोर्टेड बाय एज ऑल ऑफ यू ऑलरेडी नो दिस इज अ प्रैक्टिस क्लास फॉर यू लेट एस डिस्कस अबाउट वॉट वी लर्न इन द प्रीवियस क्लास कैन यू से वाई डू वी यूज द स्पेलिंग ऑप्शन विद द स्पेलिंग ऑप्शन यू कैन चेक द स्पेलिंग ऑफ योर टेक्स्ट एंड इफ यू हैव मेड अ मिस्टेक in typing out the spellings then you can correct the same using the spelling option why do we use the custom animation option with custom animation you can apply effects on your slide or on an object in that slide you may have seen in a film that the names of the characters seem to appear from different sides and sometimes seem to fly in this is also a type of custom animation you do you know what happens with the customize option with the customize option you can customize the menu bar you can even customize the options in it and can use your name to create a customized menu bar here customize means that you can make use of an option as per your need why do we use rehearse timings when you want to play a slide presentation and want the slides to change after a defined time then you will need to use the rehearse timing option do you know what is the interaction option when doing a slide show you want that with the click of your mouse or touchpad the presentation should restart from the last or the first slide then you will use the interaction option can you tell what is custom slide show with the use of the custom slide show you can select those slides by adding or deleting from a large number of slides that you want to show in a slide show instead of all the slides now all of you switch on your computer and using any of the methods taught to you open your impress file have you opened your file let us now begin today's class firstly go ahead and insert five slides and in and in each of these slides you will be required to do different kinds of work now type the paragraph being shown to you about computer shiksha in the first slide in the next slide insert a picture of your choice and apply a design on it also remember to write some text about the picture on the slide and apply custom animation on it let us watch the video and understand more about how this has to be done let us watch this video now and see first how we can get new slides in our impress file how we can use them to do different works here and then apply custom animation so get new to get new slides right click on the slide pane and then select new slide if you want to change this to a blank layout we need to just go to the layouts and select the blank layout one more time we need a new slide so we click right click select new slide another time we need a new slide so we'll repeat this till the time we have five slides in this impress file now select the slide in which you want to do some work so we are selecting the second slide and in this slide we want to use one of the tools from the drawing toolbar so we have selected flower and we drag it on the slide to make the flower if you want to you can move the flower where you want to keep it if you want to give a title to this you can select the title slide select the lower portion the contents portion and delete that 
and then go to the title area and you can write a title for this slide. We are writing a flower. So you can write a flower as is being shown in the video to you. If you want to format, for instance, color it, you can go to the color menu in the uh, line and filling toolbar and select a color. Let's go to the third slide, make it a title slide. And now we are removing the contents portion by selecting it and deleting it. And in the title portion, we are writing a title for this slide. And we are writing a smiley face. Because we are going to use the drawing toolbar, select the smiley face and then drag a smiley face here. Like this. Again, if you want to do some formatting, go to the line and filling toolbar and let's change the color. So we click on the color here. The down arrow and then add a color which we like. Let's go to the next slide. This is the fourth slide by scrolling down on the slide pane. Select the fourth slide. And let's insert a picture here. So we go to the insert menu, click on picture, click on from file. And from your computer where the pictures are, you can go to that location, select a picture, click on open. And you have this lovely picture of a desert here. Let's go to the fifth slide. And now we want to use the drawing toolbar and draw a shape here. So we are selecting the shape of a cube. And then we will just drag it on the slide to form a cube. As is being shown here in the video. Again, if you want to do some formatting on this, if you want to give it a title, you can click on the title slide, remove the contents portion by selecting the contents portion and deleting it. And then in the title area, we can write a cube. And if we want to format it, we'll use the line and filling toolbar. This time we are again using bitmap option. Click on the drop down button and use one of the colors that you like, the bitmap options that you like. So this way you have created five new slides and done different work on it. Now, if you want to apply a different slide design, right click on the first slide and then choose slide design. Click on load and you have many categories that you can choose from. And we have selected one presentation background and selected the template that we like. Click on OK and since this exchange background page was not selected here, if we click on OK, this will get applied only on this slide. So only on the first slide since we had chosen, our background for the presentation has changed on this slide. Let's select the second slide. Again, right click, click on slide design and this time let's select the exchange background page so that this gets applied to all the slides. Click on load. Again, select the category that you want. Presentation background. Select one of the templates which you like and click on OK. And then now when you click on OK here in the slide design box, this previewed slide design will get applied to all the slides. So you can see it has been applied to the flower and all the other slides also. Now let's see how we can apply custom animation. So we go to slideshow, click on custom animation. And in this you have this modify effect button. You need to click on add. However, this is not being highlighted right now. This option is not being highlighted because we have not selected on which portion of the slide on the text on the line or the image do we want to apply this custom animation so we need to once again if we see if we go to slideshow and select custom animation 
still this option is not being highlighted for add because we haven't selected any element of the slide. So we need to first select, for instance, in the second slide, we have selected the flower and now you can see that custom animation option is coming. So select one of the choices that you want to use, click on OK and it gets applied. Go back to the first slide. We have selected the contents area. Now we have add option available. Click on add and then you can select one of the options that you want to apply for custom animation. Click on OK and this custom animation has got applied to this slide, to the contents text. We go to the third slide, select the smiley face, click on add again and then again choose one of the custom animations that we want to apply and click on OK. Once again, we go to the desert picture, click on add, click on the custom animation that we want to use and click on OK so that this custom animation will get applied on this slide. We have another slide, the cube. So we select the cube in the slide, click on add in the custom animation area, click on the type of animation that we want to apply and then click on OK. So you see that we have now applied custom animation to all the slides. So now when you run the slideshow, you will see you can use F5 and you are now running the custom uh, slideshow and you can see the custom animation happening. In the first slide, the contents are now animated and you can see them coming slowly on the slide. So this is how you will make a slide presentation using custom animation. Now it will go to the next slide. So the, it is the flower slide where we had applied animation on the flower. So the flower will slowly appear as is being shown in the video. Then a smiley face appears. Then the desert, the animation which we had applied on the desert has been applied. And then lastly the cube. So this is how you can use new slides, use them for custom animation also. Now, with the help of the interaction option, show how you will open a different file. If you face a problem, learn by watching the video. Let us now watch this video and see how we can use the interaction option for our during our slideshows to do different actions. So using the interaction option, let's first select this first slide and select the title. So we select the title because the interaction option is being applied to this title. Go to the slideshow option, slideshow menu, click there and then click on interaction. So a box opens and you can see different types of actions that you can initiate using this interaction option. We have selected go to a document. So we click on browse and select the document which we want to open as soon as we click on this title in the slideshow. So we have selected one of these files from desktop class 2. Click on open and you can see that this file has been applied. So in, in from the document there are so many slides. Click on slide 1 and click on OK so that this document gets applied on your slide, first slide. Click on OK. Now if you run the slideshow and use the cursor to click on the title, let's see what happens. So use the slideshow option or use F5 shortcut to run the slideshow. The first slide has come and if you click Take the cursor on the title, it converts to a hand. The moment you click it, it opens the document which you had added. So this is the document. It shows you this document. You can go to different slides in this document if you like. And if you don't want to work on it, you can just close it now because we just wanted to see how it works. So this is how you can apply the interaction option. You can exit from this by escape button. So this is how you will use the interaction option.
नेक्स्ट यूज कस्टम एनिमेशन टू डू सम डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ वर्क ऑन ईच ऑफ द स्लाइड्स एंड से वॉट हैपन्स वॉच द वीडियो इन केस यू नीड हेल्प watch this video now to see how we can apply custom animation on all the slides of this impress file and see what happens so in the first slide we have selected the contents area and selected the text go to slide show mino so click on custom animation now on the right side of the slide you have the custom animation options click on add and then you see many options of this uh, custom animation the moment you select any of this it gets applied on the slide so that you can get a preview of what the custom animation will look like so you can see different effects by selecting the different effects from custom animation once you are satisfied that this is the effect you want to apply click on okay and this effect gets applied as is also seen in the preview window of the custom animation select the second slide and select the object on which you want to apply custom animation click on add and then go and select the animation that you want to apply again the different selections you make are shown in the slide so you can select the one which you like in the next smiley slide we have selected the smiley object again click on add and then click on the animation that you want to apply once you have selected the animation you want to apply and you like that you can then click on okay so that animation will get applied to the smiley in the slide next is the slide with the desert so select that select the image so that you can apply custom animation in it click on add and again you have options available you can click on the ones which you want to apply and you can see them being applied on the slide before you click okay and then when you find one which you like there are many options here in the custom animation right now we are looking at emphasis we can look at exit options and we can apply those click on okay and that gets applied to this slide to the image next slide is the cube so we select the object the cube click on add and then we use any of these custom animations that we want to apply on this cube once we are happy with that we click on okay now to see these custom animations being used click on slide show or use the f5 option and your slide show starts you can use the down arrow to keep going for to the further slides so you can see the animation that you had used in the first slide has got applied in the flower the animation that you used has been applied similarly the smiley face is bouncing up and down the desert also shows the animation and then the cube and you can press escape to come out of the slide show and now use the rehearse timing option to show a slide show use 5 4 3 2 and 1 as the rehearse timing for the slides watch the video and learn how this is done watch this video now to understand how we can use rehearse timing in our slide show to time our slides for how much time they are shown in the slide show so first we go to the first slide and click on slide show and begin the slide show so you will see that since we have applied custom animation the custom animation has to be played out first we have selected the first slide again now we have selected rehearse timing so first the custom animation will play out whatever custom animation we had applied on this let that play out so you can see 
their title is being shown we select the first slide go to slide show select rehearse timings and let us play the slide show so now we are playing the slide show again and you can see the first slide is there click right click on it and then click on next slide so the first the show, show will go on it will show the custom animation then there will be timing and then after the time that you want to set this you click right click on it click on, click on next again the custom animation is shown and then the timing is shown again click right click on it click on next after the time you want to set the next slide comes a smiley face first the custom animation will play out as is being shown in this video let it finish then the timing will be there as you can see the timing is shown because we are now using rehearse timing and then after the time you want to set right click on it click on next the next slide comes which is the desert the custom animation first plays out and then the timing is shown you can click on the right click on it click on next the next slide shows a cube the custom animation plays out then the timing begins and now when you click on right it shows previous so now you have finished all slides so just click on end show so now you have applied the timings for each of these slides so if you click on slide show and show the slide show click on slide show you will see the slide show happening however since we were at the last slide it is now showing only the last slide so we escape from this go to the first slide because we want to begin from the first slide select that and click on slide show or use f5 so you will see the first slide shows and the custom animation plays out then after the timing that you had applied the next slide comes again the custom animation gets played out here for the flower after the time that you had applied finishes the next slide is shown which is a smiley face and then it shows the custom animation which was on the slide waits for the time to expire that you had applied and then the next slide comes which is for the desert as you can see the custom animation plays out and it stays the slide stays for the time that you had applied then the next slide comes and the custom animation plays out this is the last slide a cube and then the cube custom animation appears so this way we have used the rehearse timings with a slide show which also has custom animation you can exit from this by pressing escape key next use the styles and formatting option to change the background of all slides to red color if you face a problem with this then watch the video and learn how this is done with the help of this video we are going to use the style and formatting option to change the background color of our slides in the impress file so to change the background color we need to first select the slide on which we want to change so we selected the first slide now we take our pointer to the format menu click there and choose the styles and formatting option as soon as you click there on the right side of the slide you can see a styles and formatting box opens select the background because we want to change the background right click on it you will see a button for modify click on modify and a box opens where you have many options available so since we want to change the color of the area in the background that tab has been opened so we can change the color or we can even do bit mapping or hatching so we have decided to change the color and then from the drop down window box 
we choose the color of our choice and click on OK. So once you click on OK, you will see that this color that you have chosen gets applied on the background of this slide. Now show how you will use the slide transition option for each slide with a given time. Watch the video if you face any problems. Let us now watch this video and see how we apply slide transition on our slides in the impress file or in the slideshow. So to apply the slide transition on the slides, we go to the slideshow menu and click on slide transition option. You can see on the right side of the slide uh, in the layout area, there are slide transitions. If you select any of them, that transition gets applied and you can see that happening on your slide. Also, there are options for sound. You can click on the drop down button and select the sound. In the advanced slide, you can have on mouse click or you can have select automatically after certain time. So we are selecting automatic after certain time. And then we have an option to apply this to all slides also. So if we click on apply to all slides, and then if we run the slide show, you will see that this slide transition has got applied on all the slides in our presentation. So we can run the slide show by using the shortcut command F5. And you will see that the slide start, the slide show starts and the transitions are being shown with the timings that has been given to it. So you can see that is happening here. This is the first slide. The slide transition is being applied. Whatever effect you had chosen is being applied. And also the sound is being played. Since this is a recorded video, you will not be able to hear the sound. But if you try this on your own and use it, your slide transition option, you can also see how the sound plays out with those slideshow. So you can see here, it goes to the flower uh, slide, then the smiley face, then the cube, and the desert also. So this is how the slide transition will run in the slideshow, with the effects being there and the sound effects also being there. Now, show how you will play these slides in a slideshow. In each slide, there should be a time set for the text and picture such that the slideshow automatically gets played in that time. Learn by watching the video how you can set the time on your slides. Let us now watch this video carefully and see how we can run the entire slideshow so that it runs automatically. So we select the first slide. Select the title here, click on add and apply any animation on our title. So we have chosen the animation for the title. Click on OK. Now you can see that on this slide, we have applied animation on the title. Let's go to the next slide and select the title here also. After selecting the title from the right side custom animation, click on add and apply animation on the title for the second slide also. So we apply this. Then you can see that on the shape, there's already some animation existing. You can remove one if you like. Go to the third slide. Again, select the title and click on add and apply an animation on the title also. So what we are doing is we are applying animation. Click on OK. We are applying animation on the title as well as on the shapes which are there. We have just removed one. So we just left animation on the one shape, one animation on the shape. Next is the picture of the desert. We have applied animation here. Click on add and you can apply another set of animations here. So here we see three animations have been applied on the 
desert picture. We go to the next slide, which is the cube. And again, there is a title. So we select the title, click on add and apply an animation for the title and click on OK. So now we have applied animations on all these slides. If you want, you can also add certain animation in the cube. Here we have applied another animation. Now if you want to run this automatically, one after the other slide, we can also use rehearse timings. So let's click on the first slide. And here you can see when you select the title area and you you can see that the computer shiksha title is second animation is being run. You want to bring it first. So from here these buttons you can change the order. And then you can use the start on on slide you can apply the animation on what basis it should happen. So if you click on the small button which is for the effects option, go to the timings and you can apply the timings. You can add the delay. You can say after one second or after two seconds and it should start with previous. So this is what we have done on the title. Similarly, we select the content part and we select the small button here, which is for effect options. Again, go to the timings option and ap apply the delay. First, you have to always say after previous so that the timings are from the previous option. Click on the delay and click on OK. Let's go to the second slide. Again here, if you notice, the title is appearing second. So we select this and we can use the small button here for effect option. And this is being applied on the shape. So we want to change the order. We want the title to come first. So we will now change the order. Select the title and then click on effect option. Click on timing. Give the delay that you want on the slide. And in the start option, you have to select the before doing OK, you have to select the start option saying after previous. So this effect should apply after the previous effect. So now on the shape also, we want to have effects. So we uh, uh, click on the effect option, go to timing and give a delay here also for the shape. In the start, we select after previous option, give the delay here, click on OK. So we've done two slides. Similarly, we have to work with the other slides. So we come to the third slide. Again here, the title is below. So let's change the order by clicking here. We, we want to apply the animation first on the title. Click on the effects option button and then click on timings. Choose after previous to start and then also choose the delay timing and click on OK. Next, we select the shape. Again, go to the effects option. Go to timing. And choose after previous to start. Give a delay as is being shown in the video. And click on OK. So we have done this now. Let's go to the next slide, which is the desert slide. Here you can see there are three animations. So if you don't want all three to play, you only want one, what you can do is you can select the animations from this window here and then click on remove so that you can remove the unnecessary animation. So we've removed one, we've selected another one and removed that also. Now select the remaining animation, click on effects option, click on timing. And once again, choose the start after previous and give a delay as is being shown here. We have also selected the speed here in this case, which is an option available and then click on OK. Next is the last slide, which is the cube. So we select that slide. Again here you see that the title is coming in between. 
So we can select the title and then move it up using these buttons here. So to change the order, then we can remove some of the extra animations which are there. We choose one of the animations, remove the extra one, and then we apply the on the title first, we choose effects option, go to timing and set a delay and also select after previous, click on OK. After having selected the delay also, click on OK. The next is the shape. So we apply the animation on this also or the timings on this also by selecting effects option, selecting timings and selecting the start option as after previous, selecting a delay and clicking on OK. So now we have already applied animation, we have applied effects here. What you can see is if you look at this in the slide pane, if you look at the slides on the left side of the slide, you can see a small green dot as is being shown here. This means that the animation has been applied and the timings have rehearsed timings have also been applied on this. If you want, you can see here by clicking on slide transition has been applied also. So you can see here in the slide transition option that a transition has been applied and uh, we have set automatically after one second, the slides will transit from one to the next. So this is something which we have already done. Now, when you play this in a slideshow, all these effects will play out together. So you can select the first slide and then run the slideshow by using F5 or clicking on slideshow. And you can see that all your animations are applied on each of these slides. They move automatically after the timing which has been set. And all these effects that you have just selected are being played out. If you have selected the sound effects also, those will also play out. Only in the recorded videos, you may not, you will not hear the sound, but when you actually use it, you will see all those that happening. So you can see in the next slide, first animation is shown on the title, then the animation is shown on the shape itself, then the next slide comes. The title comes, the shape comes, the animation on the shape comes and the slide transitions also from this to the next slide. So you can see the desert slide, there is one animation on it, then comes the cube slide. So the title is animated and then the shape will appear in the animation which you have chosen. So rehearse timings, all of these effects have been applied in this slideshow. Today's class will end here. So close your file and then properly shut down the computer. Today, you all practiced using the options that you had learned about earlier like interaction, custom animation, rehearse timing. Computer Shiksha is supported by. Thank you.